Okay, we're recording, baby. All right, everybody, the podcast begins. Oh, don't worry, Gabriel. I'm not going to do the whole intro. The do podcast. it! No, no. Let's see. Uh, you want it? You want the full <laughs> intro? Give, me, right. give, give it all to me. I can take it all. Okay, yeah, Gabriel wants know. the full intro. All right, so we're doing it. All right, normally on the movie apps, I don't do the full intro, but for the guest, John Gabris, you heard him. The guy's high and mighty and demanding, as a matter of fact. People need to know. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Let's do it again, baby. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo. Woo. Bro, not changing my lifestyle. I'm four or five women every day of my life. Welcome to the Comedians of Wrestling podcast, the podcast where comedians dissect wrestling to an unhealthy degree. I'm your host, the host with the most viral stand up about professional wrestling. (laughs) Dan Black. A.K.A. Dunsky, uh, Black Amora, A.K.A. Donnie Wrestling, <laughs> Donnie Wrestling, <laughs> A.K.A. Donnie Capri from that time I went to Italy. Seems like you're a little stupid, but you're actually really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. <laughs> the modern day goof and spoof, Raja. <laughs> Shame. Coming at you Shame. like Cleopatra, baby, baby. Gabba, 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 wee. gabba, wee. Yeah, gabba, yeah, gabba, yeah, yeah, gabba, 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 wee. Gabba, gabba, wee, gabba, This gabba, girl, gabba, uh, gabba, she's gabba. mine. And, uh, 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 <coughs> She's fine. Your next step, the jabronzi. What up, coming at you, everybody? Uh, for your satisfaction with all of our wrestling spicy spicy reaction, John Michael. I know I'm sexy. I've got the looks. The drives are cool. While I've got the mood. <laughs> oh wow, we are here with a very special movie dissection episode. Whew. I'm I'm winded with a very special <laughs> guest. I will not waste any time because this man. No, yeah, who... you will not waste any time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of wasting time. My whole life is one waste of time. That's how I would describe it. Write it on my stone, baby. Uh, <laughs> the host of High and Mighty podcast. You've seen him in everything. You could see this man. Fun fact, you could see this man in episode two of What We Do in the Shadows <laughs> as a really? doc, doc worker. That's right. correct. Oh, I got to check that out. And also, you can listen to the Action Boys. Probably, if you dig what we're doing, you will love what these guys are doing. Uh, uh, I love uh, Mr. Action Mr. Boys. John Gabris. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Dan. Hi, thanks for having me. Welcome. You're welcome. And, uh, welcome yeah. to our studio. I don't even care if your Tadoshi is Bruce Springsteen. I'm pumped to fucking be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thanks for nothing. You're dismissed. Bye-bye. Okay. Anyway, for- oh, yeah, all right. I apologize. I apologize. The soundboard is here. I know you love the soundboard, John. You go, oh, no. You, you, every time you come on the pod, you're like, oh, the soundboard. Oh, wasting time. I love the soundboard. It's you're one amazing. of my choices, soundboard or you talking. Give me the soundboard. <laughs> what about a soundboard clip of me talking? How about Ooh, that? Ooh, that might be just attached enough that it works for me. <laughs> no more, Mr. Nice Jew. Uh... <laughs> Dan Black, shattering stereotypes, drinking coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yo, can I tell you about my coffee before we get to this episode? Just to waste a little time, Gabriel. Can I get an know. intro? Oh, sorry, Aaron. Well, fuck. <laughs> can we talk about my coffee before I introduce oh, the third living dear. human being? Oh, oh dear man, you. hold on. I forgot to take my flonase today. Okay, uh, to my left. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, to my left, as always here, I apologize. The first lady, Erin Finnerty. <laughs> what up? <laughs> what up? Okay. You were here. The video is confusing about introing people. You know what I mean? Because you're here already. Yeah, but it's a formality that and must be observed. As always, we're posting these episodes uh, on YouTube, our Zoom calls on YouTube, so you can check them out. Gabrus, you cool with that? 
You want me to YouTube? know? It <laughs> will be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess maybe I should have, uh, you know, wiped the boogers out of my eyes or whatever, but I'll be okay. The That's video fine. quality is not that good. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, it's not. It's Zoom, it's Zoom video quality. Don't worry. Yeah. And also, we don't have okay. to, honestly. You can message me privately after and be like, I don't want people to know that I have a crushed velvet purple chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the back. And a volcano and a uh, blue velour couch. Oh, volcano, bro! I, I, was, I have not, <laughs> man, I haven't smoked out of a volcano since college. I'm yeah, saying here, 2007. Uh, since yeah, like literally, uh, possibly the early aughts. Right. Was the last time I smoked out of a volcano. Shit, still, I up until the quarantine. Now that's the way I've been smoking for the last forty straight days. Was and the I volcano fucking... like the first vape? And it was like, yeah, <laughs> thing, yeah. Right? They just got it right the first time with the tabletop vape. It, it's like inefficient to carry around like you know what i mean you this can't is carry like, it's like yeah. a balloon that's like this long and yeah but then you get something like this that's like the size of a usb yeah. stick and hit you with like oh yeah meat. and you're like oh okay well then what the fuck is <laughs> yeah hold on this is all right next to my at the vape boys <laughs> <laughs> i you yeah, actually weirdly i got two stories here first thing i bought my first vape yesterday uh what? and it already does it work but it's not for weed. It's for weed, not for yeah, uh, yeah. the tobacco. Well, what, did you get like the pa the Pax thing that Newman and I have? No, I just got like the one. I went into the, disposable the, one. The, the, I went to the dispensary. And they were like, it's 10 bucks if you buy this. And I was like, all right, whatever. This is clearly a piece of shit. It already yeah. doesn't work. Uh, I got had, if you will, at the, uh, at the weed shop. And uh, that's it. It doesn't pull. I pulled one pull. Then the next pull, the light doesn't go. <laughs> really? Oh, no. I was watching, but it's funny because I, I was watching, uh, I, I was smoking a little bit. It was uh, my anniversary. It was Jamie and I's anniversary. Oh, yeah, happy anniversary. She was like, <laughs> "That's how, this is how hey, fucking boring we are. Congratulations, bud. Uh, thank you. Jamie was like, let's smoke some weed tonight for our anniversary. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how daring we are. It was like, uh, but anyway. Wow. Um, Keeping the spice alive. Yeah. But I got pretty, I got, I ended up getting pretty high and then Gabrus popped on my screen and JB was already sleeping. And I, I was like, JB, it's Gabrus in this, <laughs> you know? Oh, you're and, watching what we do in the shadows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very cool. funny show. Cool. I, I, Hilarious I have show. to watch it. I Does Doc Worker make a comeback, Gabrus? Uh, uh, I am in the pilot and then I think I'm in a flash in the episode two, but I don't talk in episode two. I only talk in the pilot. Oh, That's yeah. like the um, most. Doc Worker uh, lines in a show since like yeah. the Wire season. <laughs> I know. Wow, congrats. I'm finally, my looking a lot like a Doc Worker is finally working out for me acting wise. Yeah, you sound well, like a Well, it's doc funny worker. because you're, uh, previously, you're, uh, like you said, I missed the boat on the wire. Yeah. The guy, uh, the, guy uh, the vampire asks you if you have a quill. Because you need to like sign on your iPad. <laughs> yeah, nah, dude, the whole thing's digital now, man. Like, <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, also, you said coffee. Funny thing is that like, you were like, yo, I'm going to be five minutes late, right? So mm -hmm. in that time, I was like, fuck, I'm out of coffee. All good. I don't need to have coffee to do everything. In that time, Amazon, I get the email, delivered. My uh. pods came. I was out of pods, quickly made this coffee in that amount of time. Anyway, <laughs> I have one. fun. In my Seth Rollins uh, architect mug. Love that. I love that <laughs> yeah. mug. That's love that mug. Love, love that, that mug. Beautiful <laughs> mug. It's a beautiful <laughs> mug. Uh, but anyway, we're here to talk about, and this is why we recruited John Gabers, the king of uh, one of one of uh, three uh, king of, of the action boys, the king of action movies, king of man, Kumite. If I had the king of Kumite, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> John Lee, John Lee, John yeah, Lee, yeah, John yeah, yeah. Lee. Huge Chung Lee mark. Uh, <laughs> I'm a diehard bolo head over here. Let's yeah, just say yeah. that you were, is it fair to say you were disappointed at the end of this movie? <laughs> Let's just say yeah. uh, I'm built a lot like Bo Bolo Young has my like goal body. So I got to fucking root for the guy. Um, is, is, is he the bear guy? I actually have a real Jackson look about me to be. No, yeah. Bolo is the bad guy. Yeah, but he's he, we, we both have big tits. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> I, I look like Jackson a lot, especially. You do look like, like not only like that, that's a part you could have got, I think. Yeah. Me and, me and yeah. Rogers uh, did a one uh, a one act play called Kumite where he played Van Damme and I played Jackson. So and it obvious. Was, <laughs> it's a perfect casting. Yeah. It was an extended. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, of the scene where they meet in the hotel lobby. Uh, we, uh, we, yeah, we, we fleshed it out and did like a 20 minute play at like, or a 15 minute play uh, called Kumite. We're very proud of it. It's disgusting. And uh, we're both right in our wheelhouses for impressions. You guys are so, oh, that's yeah. like so uh, my ilk of people who like, we, we, we want to be artists, but we can't help ourselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like we'll write a play, but it's I, like, I got to write a play, but it has to be about Vince McMahon. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the lengths to put this thing at the final draft. Uh, and think about character arc. But uh, uh, it's not going to be about anything that will win me an Oscar. Anyway, so, uh, 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 but we're talking about Bloodsport, 1988 classic starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. You oh, guys yeah. know it. It yeah. breaks from our format here because there's no pro wrestler in this movie. There's definitely guys who dabbled in it, though. You're not going to tell me any of these guys took a, a, at least a class. You know? no, I guarantee, like, four of the dudes washed out of fucking WCW power plant or whatever. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> these guys touched down in Baltimore, no question. They were, uh, uh, these guys were in, uh, uh, well, the no, power plant Georgia, right? But, uh, yeah, so... But we're going to talk about Bloodsport. We got Gabers here. Before we get into it, and there's a lot to say. Uh, by the way, I, I, like the last second before we went on, I was looking at the Wikipedia page, learned so much more about this movie that I didn't even know. Uh, it's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's fun. There's so much crazy shit going on behind the scenes of this movie, too, that like Frank Dukes is based on a real person who's created the actual, like he says he's fought. Yeah. In the, it's at the end of the movie. Controversial figure, too. His by name the is way. Frank Dukes. Yeah, yeah, his name is Frank Dukes, but he's yeah. no, there's no proof of any of this. And no. even the records at the end of the movie are like fastest punch. It's like no one's measuring no. that at a Kumite. <laughs> no. It's, it's, they're barely, like, Sorry, I gotta steal, open the store again. No, no worries. There's people stealing like gold teeth. Um, oh, it, and, and, and yeah. then you're going to tell me that there's also someone measuring the fucking like <laughs> yeah. miles per hour and pressures per inch of fucking punches and shit. Oh yeah, I mean absolutely. The, 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 it, it, from what I've read, none of those are proven facts. This guy, as a matter of fact, like a guy wrote a book about him, right? And then after was like, I'm sorry, or an article, and was like, I don't yes. know why I believed him, but it's kind of a bummer <laughs> because now we live in this time of information. Uh, I kind of love that we had this time where people who were fucking crazy psychopaths and sociopaths got to really run wild and <laughs> oh. say you were well, whatever like, you wanted. It was h like high cocaine levels yeah. throughout the decade. So I think that's why you can kind of get away with that. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think it's also like this is the time peak white male power privilege. You're a star. Uh, John claude Van Damme will do whatever the fuck, you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, people just, every, everyone, and that's why I still love all these guys. Like, especially if you're a wrestling head, you're going to love fucking Arnold, Sly, Van Damme, Seagal, because they're right. huge fucking egomaniacs, which is like all we like in professional wrestlers. Yeah. And now we can right. get it in all these other fuck. And it's just, these, these are like, God's landing on earth being like, I don't look like you. I do things your body can't do. And now put me in a movie. You know what I mean? And you right. just, it's fucking wonderful. Oh, no, yeah. I love it. I it's love great. it. Also, to, uh, 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 all right, before we get into that, though, okay, I just want to say we like to give recommendations of stuff we've watched, read, anything uh, that we want to tell the people, especially in this time where mm -hmm. uh, everyone is starving for content and, you're, and the show your dad's going to tell you to watch is Trash. Uh, <laughs> the show your dad's gonna tell For you to watch sure. is shameless. Based on <laughs> based on light uh, polling of everybody's parents, parents be watching shameless. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. My dad's been going back and watching Weeds. Uh, Ugh, <laughs> I hate Weeds. I'm just guessing. Uh, but Aaron, um, anything you've been checking out that you want to uh, tell yes. the people about? I have a strong recommendation for a show I've been watching for like eight weeks and kept forgetting to bring up, but that show is the show that just uh, aired its season finale, Dave, on FXX with oh, Lil yeah. Dicky. It is so good, and Lil Dicky is such a good rapper. Like I've been watching his freestyles like for weeks, and he's the show is great. And actually, episode five is a Jewish rapper. Always he's Jewish. He's from Cheltenham, PA, a wow. Philly guy. And he um, 
he is a great rapper, but episode five is about his hype man, Gata, and his That's story. That's the best episode. I, I'm yeah. on like episode seven. That sh- okay. shit, the Gata episode is fucking amazing. So good. Oh, and I, that. you have to watch it. And I actually, after I saw it, I was like, oh my God, this guy is like such a good actor. He's like uh, amazing. And then right. I looked it up and he's not acting. He's actually Lil Dick. He's like real life hype man. Uh. It's a his story. His name is Gata. Yeah, he's real life Gata. Everyone plays <laughs> themselves. So yeah. I highly, highly recommend Dave. Um, also, he his relationship with his girlfriend, Allie, uh, being in a relationship with a Jewish man, it really kind of rings right. true to me. So yeah. you should definitely check it out. And underrated about Dave is that it's a real mature look at adult male friendship and also yeah. adult relationships. Like he's right. really uncomfortable with the way his dick <sighs> looks. And yeah. like, they play it for real. Like it's funny, but they play, like they talk about what he's voiced, like what he's actually feeling. And you don't see that a lot in like shit for men where it's like, uh, Gaeta is a hype man who's suffering from like uh, bipolar disorder. And they're like, sit down. They're like, we love you, man. And it's just like so interesting and hearing people's problems. It's like, it's just an adult look at that world that you're not expecting from an FXX show where the fucking billboard is a dude climbing out of underwear. Yo, honestly, that 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 whole marketing campaign didn't make like it didn't like turn me off to the show like I'm some fucking devout Christian or something. Right? I was like, no, uh, but I, it made me not know what the show was. Yeah, it, it was seems like, like it's gonna be like silly, but like we knew him kind of as a rapper. I'm like, oh, this guy's really good. Let's check this show out. So yeah. the from the first episode, it's great, and the, and every episode's awesome. Season finale was good, so I recommend oh, that. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna like it. Um, All right. I also want to say i've been watching um insecure season four on hbo hell yeah that bosh and the michael jordan documentary are what i'm really into this week yeah we're watching pretty much the same shit um (laughs) i'll throw i'll throw better things on top of that as another fxx show that i fucking love i've been watching that also jamie's been putting that on i saw like uh three or four episodes and i was uh i was into it I think it's I watched so the good. first two seasons with Pam Adlon. Yep, that's the yeah. one. She was the mom in Bumblebee that we did a couple weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. I know, Bumblebee. I know she's, she's great. <laughs> Featuring John Cena, one of his greatest roles. Uh, I would huh. say, uh, 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 so John, that's the stuff you've been watching too. Anything you want to throw on? Um, I've also been watching Midnight Gospel on Netflix, Duncan Trussell's animated show with Pendleton Ward. It's really trippy. Uh, I have to credit my buddy, Justin Tyler, who you also know yeah. for, uh, for describing it as like, uh, a f- like a stonery Dr. Katz, which kind of sold me on it. And I, I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, we were just talking about Dr. Katz on this awesome. podcast. Uh, all right. I'll just, what about you, DB? We, we gave a lot of recommendations. I'll just give my update. I have 45 <laughs> hours left in the audio book, uh, The Stand by Stephen King in my quest to read my first Stephen King book because I never have. Uh, Gabrus, I recommend you chose the stand as your first one. Yeah, yeah, I just went, I just dove right in because uh, Aaron recommended it to me, and I and then I had been, you know, I'd heard it's long, and I just, I was like, I'm just gonna go for the longest one. Yes. <laughs> that book, that I book was that. in my house that I moved into when uh, in sixth grade. The summer between fifth and sixth grade, I moved towns. My bedroom had that book in the closet. That was the only thing That's left behind. Weird. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is a sign. I'll read this. For that summer of being 12 years old, I carried around like a 1,300-page book wherever right. I went. Was and it was, the, the unabridged version from the 90s? Cause I don't, yeah, it had it no jacket on it. It was yeah. just this big-ass hardcover, like dusty-ass mustard-colored hardcover. Then my family was like, you're still reading that book, Jonathan? Every time I showed up to a function because I was just like trying to get through it in my summer before school started cool well, well dan's three hours in <laughs> yeah i'm three hours in i'm listening to it just because it's easier when I, I, I do it when i uh a, a lot i'll do it long dog walks uh yeah listen to the stand very much enjoying it uh and i'll keep you guys updated on that okay. and uh what we do in the shadows was my other recommendation but you could see john gabers in the pilot uh and in episode two for a second all right let's talk about blood sport we have to we need to yeah and uh Next week, should we oh, reveal yes. Aaron, that? What's the Ed movie next week? So, do it over the blood sport song. All right, next week, the Cow Movie Club will be watching 
but 2016 action martial arts classic Kickboxer Vengeance, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dave Batista. Wow. That I cannot wait to watch because everyone knows how much I love anything with Dave Batista in it. Uh, yeah, his <laughs> hair looks really crazy in the poster, by the way. It's fucking uh, great. Yeah. Well, Batista was is the most interesting wrestling talent to transfer to the big screen because he was not that good in wrestling, uh, right. but is a great actor. <laughs> well, he's like actually talented. He's, he's the funniest person in Guardians of the Galaxy that features like actual per- comic actors right. that can't do the same job as he's doing. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about Bloodsport. Uh, we like to rank these movies. We like to rate them uh, out of five boos. So, uh, 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 um, Gabers, to catch you up on the system, you know how movies you give them stars, right? So, like, a perfect movie that had five stars would be, you know, my example is always The English Patient, a perfect <laughs> movie uh, that I've never seen. Uh, I give it five stars. <laughs> we rank movies out of uh, moves, and they're movies with pro wrestlers in them, or they're on our scale, our fun scale. Right. Uh, movies that have gotten five moves before have been uh, – uh, Magic Mike XXL featuring Kevin Nash. <laughs> I love that movie. Same. Big uh, Daddy. J- Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Perfect five moo movie uh, that we love. That's one Fighting of my favorite movies. Fighting with my movies. family. Uh, Fighting with my family because it has The Rock and it's a wrestling movie. Yeah, that's gonna get us. That's gonna get your five moves. That's a great movie though too. I love that's a it. good I one. Cry. I cried three times the first time I watched it. And that's on Hulu right now, too, right? This says more about Hulu. your headspace than anything else. I I know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's on Prime and Hulu. Check out Fighting With My Family. <laughs> Aaron, how many moves out of five would you give Bloodsport? And by the way, just to remind you, at the end of this episode, you get a chance to change your rating. If you get if you get moved by Why something so John Gabris moves you, <laughs> you can change. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, with we got to rate it twice. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't have to. You just get. An you can keep your rating. You can keep yeah. your rating. With that in mind, I'll give um, Bloodsport four moves. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, just one more. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that's four moves. Lock into four moves. John Locked Gamers. In. You're now tempted, ranking. now tempted to do zero moves. <laughs> <laughs> How many moves out of five would you like to choose? And don't, you know, it's just it's we have to lock it in. It's for the records. If I don't press the button, then it's not. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Uh, yeah. The only issue I have with this movie yeah. is that it's your president's favorite movie. It's it's Trump's favorite movie, Bloodsport. So that's my only concern with the film. But I will say. Five moves. Oh, wow. I love that. Hold on, one sec. That's three, and one more is four, and one more is five. Shock the system. Wow, a five move perfect score. John Gabriel out of the course. gate, doling out the moves like they're like I don't know. Really messing with the scale for him, but uh, <laughs> you you gave a negative, which was that your only knock is that it's Trump's, but still gave it a perfect score, which means we know who you are, you are voting for in 2020. Uh, uh, again, you got it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to give this movie... 4.5 moves, almost a perfect score. The only thing that gets 0.5 is because it has no notable pro wrestler in it. That's yeah, <laughs> that's kind of a drop. All right, hold on. I know, sorry. So now we, just, we have to do it for the records. We won't number nine. And then a half. Okay, half move. All right, so uh, as we got into it, this movie, what I like about this movie personally, just to kick off the convo, is I think it's very simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it, it's over. It's complicated in the way that like, all right, it's an underground fight scene and blah blah blah. But like, it also doesn't. It also doesn't take itself too seriously. Where there's not like some like there's not annoyingly deep scenes or anything shoehorned in there. It's just like, yo, this movie's a fucking blast, and we're gonna have a blast, and we're gonna show you this guy JCVD. He could do a split. We're gonna do it forty times, uh, and mm-hmm. we're gonna watch him fight. <laughs> and I think in that way, that's awesome. Plus, I'm a sucker for a tournament. Pardon. Plus, if you add in the fact that there's death that you possibly could die in this tournament, it's a it's a it's all a winning format a formula for me, John. <laughs> uh, tournament montage, 
montage. Characters, ca- characters with different abilities, powers, or styles. Yeah. This this locked into young Gabriel yeah. so hard because it's sort of like wrestling. It's sort of like gladiators. It's sort of like everything that you liked. It's arguably comic books because each person has different powers. Like one guy yeah. has monkey powers. One guy has oh, fat yeah. powers. I'm such like, a I'm such a, a sucker for that. Also, I just want to say I love when it's like he, he has his thing. He does his. Little, it's a, that's, it's know. little kid logic because then you go like you're like. He has yeah exactly that's what I'm saying like it's little kid logic it's like no way that style could beat this style you know and that's all <laughs> right. that's all based on like sh- uh, like Shaolin like all those kung fu movies like the Shaw Brothers like all that fucking Hong Kong uh, uh, cr- like kung fu cinema is all like my style is more powerful once I achieve dragon style I could defeat your right. tiger style so it's weird that that carried over to this and then when UFC first started. It was more like Bloodsport. It would be like right. Tank Abbott would be in like jean shorts and yeah. like shirtless fighting a guy in a gi versus a kickboxer. And you were like, this rules. And or then like always. John Fry would have like yeah. an American flag bo- uh, trunks on. <laughs> yeah. But then, of course, jujitsu wins all the time. So then MMA sport is just jujitsu combined with striking. But like when it first started, it was like, I'm big and strong. Me, I'm little and fast. Let's fight each other. Yeah. You know? Right. I, I, I know. Uh, but I, I, fucking Bloodsport does all of that. That's what I think about that that that's what I why I think I'm such a wrestling fan because every time I put on UFC, I get worked where I'm like, all right, so this guy, his style, exactly what you just said. It'll be like, yo, Anderson Silva, he's a striker, but this other guy's a wrestler. And you're like, cool, let's see how those styles clash. And then the fights go. Like the other fight I saw, yeah. like the, all the fights are like kind of the same, and then they always end. It's like, all right, he held him down, but I, <laughs> I want to see it's like somebody get. I want to see this guy's a great kicker, and then he's able to do forty kicks to the guy's face. In a row. <laughs> right, you know but I mean? that guy's got a strong face, so it like works right, out. Like, it's right, like, right. Oh, John Bones Jones, that guy's face is like a brick wall. Good luck, guy who's good at kicking. You know. No, right. real fighting is and real fighting. Really, the one thing that sucks about real fighting is it's like, it's like you could be the best fighter in the world, but like you can get caught. It's like you can lose, and you're like, I just, I, we, why can't any of these guys just be completely infallible? Why yeah. can't I get a guy who's like you can't beat him? And then the guy who does beat him is so fucking special, you know? Right. It's just, you I know. Re- yeah. There's no, there's never gonna be a Goldberg in MMA. Like, yeah. You're yeah. just like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't uh, show. 40 matches in a row and win no matter who you are. Everyone that's ever yeah. absolutely dominated MMA is embarrassed eventually. Like, and not, they shouldn't be embarrassed because right. losing is losing, but they're, they're like the most dominant person in that sport. And then the neck, the, the time they lose, they're absolutely annihilated by someone who came out of nowhere. And you're just like, right. and then that new person absolutely dominates for X amount of time before right. they're just destroyed. Yeah. Right. It's got yeah. such a short, short, Shelf life, short shelf short life. Shelf what life. was that? <laughs> short <laughs> shelf life. Uh, Gabrus, where do you stand on the an underground fighting tournament? You know, best of the best, obviously. Uh, best, uh, best of the best. Of- on a recent rewatch, yeah. that might not be underground. That might have been legal. Like, uh, best of best two is definitely illegal. It's Wayne, Wayne, illegal. Wayne Newton, right? Is it? Yeah, <laughs> it's in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, that that's so illegal because that guy just kills everybody. He yeah, Chris Penn right? like dies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris Penn died, and then he died. Not that. Then he now. actually that, dies. But, yeah, yeah. It's because uh, rest was, in power. It yeah. was because he was so method. They said. Oh yeah. And he oh, died yeah, in yeah, real yeah. life. That's why he he's such a good life. actor. He died in real life. <laughs> <laughs> he, every night he felt he, when the movie came out, he felt like such a fucking phony. His agent convinced him not to die. He's like, I don't think you should die for this part because he's like, he, that's he, hack. My brother is Sean Penn. I gotta fucking die. I gotta outdo <laughs> my brother. He's doing. I am Sam. Let me kill myself for yeah, real. Yeah, 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 <laughs> this yeah. is not funny. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, man. Not funny. <laughs> Wow, we both held back on four follow-up jokes there. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, but I'm saying like when when I'm like oh the 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 when they introduced the Kumite, just this I don't know what that that power of just being like yo, there's something it has a name people don't know where it is. My my body it feels moves like around. So, I feel like high with uh, with coolness, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, blood sport is. Street Fighter, it's Mortal Kombat. It's those right. games that we love. Cap- it's all those games, those side, like 8-bit 
uh, two dimensional f- fighting games. Right. We love those. And then this, this is what pissed me off the most about the movie Mortal Kombat when it yeah. came out oh. is that it wasn't just blood sport right. with Mortal Kombat. No, like, but what, no, no one cares about Van Damme running from the police in blood sport. No one no. cares about that. Well, even I've seen I this movie 200 times. I've seen this movie 200 times. Every time I put it on, I'm like, Forrest Whitaker's in this movie? Yeah. <laughs> I always he, forget. Wow. And like, why Chinese are they chasing food. him? The C story of that is like, the C story of that, and then the B story for the poor woman who is oh, like, I'm a general, but I have to pretend to be a sex worker to be allowed yeah. to go to this fight. <laughs> that, we don't allow journalists. If you were a prostitute, on the other hand, yes. Yeah. She, uh, that, that, that is so true. Uh, Forrest Whitaker, by the way, I love that scene where he just loves Chinese food. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's like, so he, into it. He, the whole time he's so serious. He's like worked up before. I mean, his dynamic, by the way, I would, I'd watch a spinoff movie of the dynamic of Forrest <laughs> Whitaker as the young cop with that old guy who was always just like, shut up. I got a different plan. Yeah. 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 But all right. Here's what I want to get into. I want to talk about Frank Duke, the character, not the real guy in real life because the real guy. Let's in real do life, it. Okay. Frank Dukes. Like put up your Dukes. So put up your fucking Dukes, man. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> So he's a U.S. Army captain, right? Um, and he's the he's the son of immigrants, but he has an accent. Like he's an oh immigrant? my gosh, yeah, he right he is. Yeah, I think he's a a small French boy to begin with. Yes, and he moves to San Francisco, right? <laughs> and he says, right, and but he keeps his French accent. But he's a student of uh, I got a Hong a- Kong <laughs> guy. Yeah, right, it's right, very he's weird. Like, well, I think that I think Tanaka is Japanese. No, his is Tanaka. Is oh Japanese. yeah, because he's got the sword and stuff. That would make sense. Yeah, I think Tanaka, the, his his master is Japanese, and he. So okay, so he has this accent. Even though okay, I was like, why does he have such an accent? All right, they could have made that better, but whatever. Yeah. The whole beginning of this movie feels like the room. Like he he really. Oh, is like, oh hi, God. Mark. Uh, well, but- <laughs> the young man who plays a young yeah. Frank Dukes, like I was curious about him after rewatching it right. this time. So I did some like real detective work on the internet. Yeah. And he is like an actual French person. That accent is for real. Oh my um, God. He sounds crazy. He sounds insane. He sounds like he's like a little bit like, dit, 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 like a little slow. Right. And um, a little what? A little, what? you know, like, dit, 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 and <laughs> already won. All right, yeah. And uh, I, so I wanted to know, like, what this guy's deal was. And he, this is his only acting credit. He, yeah. I did some extra detective work and found that he, um, I found his LinkedIn page and he uh, lives in Australia now. And, like, Real through, estate. His, through his adulthood, he ran restaurants in Vegas at Excalibur and then at hotels in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, this guy right here. Um, Wait, can I tell you my favorite thing about this guy? Oh, I know what it is, but please go ahead. <laughs> uh, he's got a San Francisco Giants hat and a New York Giants shirt. They clearly oh, no. just knew about Giants. <laughs> he's in San Francisco. They like whoever the foreign people on the team because it's a Canon Films movie. We should right. say, right. and they make some of the Golan and Globus, Dan, some of the most legendary Jewish movie Israeli movie producers. Oh yeah, uh, Menachem Golem. Look these dudes up. They're wild. What? Check out the documentary if you haven't seen it. I haven't yeah. seen that. Gabrus obviously has, but Dan, you gotta check it out. It's wow. pretty fucking awesome. I've never seen that. Um, it's uh, so good. It's called like Electric Boogaloo, yeah. or the story of Canon Films, or something. I think if like that's that. a Netflix. It's on Netflix. I think. Yeah. Well, so the thing is, uh, 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 this kid, he, the 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 premise of this movie is that this guy Tanaka has a son. He want he needs someone for his son to beat up while he's training, right? So he he recruits Frank, a guy who breaks into his house with some other kids to steal a katana sword. Right. Uh, 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 but then he makes it strikes a deal with him, showing him the power of the katana by chop quickly, ch- dangerously chopping off the brim of his hat. Uh, in his house and says, hey, I need you to train my son. So Frank agrees, but he's very frustrated during the training because he's like, I'm just a punching bag for your kid, right? Yeah. And so, <laughs> but also he's a tea waiter. Uh, he, gets the, he gets promoted to, I get to I deliver right. tea to the yes, family. Yes. He gets to deliver tea to the family. Uh, so he, he's, he's an American-ish kid 
who is struggling with uh, the traditions, uh, the elderly traditions, I would say, of this culture. I don't know. Just fine. Uh, anyway, so but the thing that happens is, so let's jump ahead for a second. This kid dies, in, like, in a jump scene, right? Like, we don't see him die or anything, right? He doesn't uh, die in that fight, though, right? No. He dies in the Kumite. He, di- he dies in Kumite, and that's why JCVD. Did we see that, though? Did I miss that? Because I was like, when did this kid die? I know they jump forward. I know he says oh. as a kid, I'm going to make my dad proud in the Kumite. They, and then I guess you infer that he died in the Kumite? Yeah, when he goes back to see Tanaka, it's kind of like, I don't know if they say it out, like explicitly, but I think it's right. implied that he wants to get vengeance for Tanaka's son, who was right. like his friend and mentor. Right. Oh, okay. But Maybe. it's kind of weird because we're like best of the best too has that nice thing of like <laughs> you, see coming up. Bro- <laughs> you see his brother dies in the tournament, right? And then you're like, that's why he joins it, right? And also the same this is that's the premise of kickboxer. Right. So he's, but he's actually he's, he's in his brother's corner when his brother is killed. Right. Uh, he's like, no, you're right, you're right. But so I'm saying like in this, it's kind of weird because he dies in there, but there's no actual enemy other than just the Kumite as a mountain. To well, climb. Yeah. Until Chun-Li kind of cops to breaking yeah. your brother like I broke you or whatever. Break yeah, you like I break your brother. You find out that Chun-Li killed a guy and then it's revealed that that guy is most likely... Yeah. Oh, Gamer. Young committing. Tanaka. <laughs> wow. Full quarantine zone. Need two vapes at the same time. I have one non-working vape, and he has two working vapes. I, I don't think these are working. But they don't have weed in them. <laughs> oh, okay. So you did. You know what? Okay. Again. Uh, great. So Chun Li did kill him. I don't know why yeah. they wouldn't just say that earlier, but that's fine. Whatever. Okay. But then, so then he he uh, uh, uh They cut to the montage of training him. He uh, agrees. But the so funny good. thing is, Tanaka adds in that thing that he's like. He's like, uh, this, my son who died was my second son. He had a whole other family before that died in Hiroshima. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. I know. Tanaka's, so Tanaka's fucking been through it. Like, yeah. he, had, he had a family die in a nuclear attack. He had a family die in a Kumite. And then he had his fuck, he had to, like, half raise this, like, French, uh, you know, weirdo. <laughs> yeah. What, what in, the, in the movie, why is Van Damme... Why is he? Uh, why do they? Why do the? Does the U.S. Army want him? What's? The, why is he in trouble? Do they say that? I think he abandoned his post, right? Because he's supposed. To, they. It starts with like. Correct me if I'm wrong. It starts with like, "Hey, they want to talk to you," and he just runs away and disappears to Hong Kong. Oh, right. I know. I know that, but I. <laughs> but I'm saying I don't know why. I don't know what they want from him in that right. moment. Right. I don't know either. He, he ditches in the showers. He leaves the shower running, and some actors are like, "Hey, why is it taking so long in the shower?" And he goes in there, and then all the showers are running. It's like, "Oh shit!" He and got next me. thing, yeah. Then next thing you know, he's just like leisurely walking up to Tanaka's door to come see him on his deathbed. Right. Right. Anyway, that we could jump forward, but yeah. you jump forward. We get. Let's just get to the Kumite because the, <laughs> talk about the Kumite, for, the actual tournament for a second. The, to, when he gets there, he tries to sign in, and they're kind of like, "Yo." What are you doing? You're not. You're not a. You're not part of the Tanaka clan. You're a fucking white guy. And then they make him. They like prove it by breaking well, the I brick. Love, they, they have bottom. such an issue. Yeah, they have. He has to do Dimak. No, bottom brick. Right. They they make such part. a big deal. They make such a big deal about Van Dam not being like you're white. Obviously, meanwhile, standing next to him is Jackson, who looks like a fucking trucker. And they, yeah. they, have, they have nothing to say about that, dude. They no. have not, they're like, okay, Jackson, you're checked in. It's like, wait, hold on here, Tanaka. What's your deal? It's like, wait. Is he the clan? Like, what's Jackson? How do you, how do you, I kept being like, how do you sign up for the Kumite? Is it, it seems pretty loose. I think you just have to like know where it is. And like, I just assumed always that Jackson was like a return competitor because he yes. kind of like know right. like who's who and knows his way around Hong Kong a bit. So I just right. assumed he, he proved himself maybe uh, last at last year's Kumite in, in Puerto Rico or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the like, he's like, he's like, I'm down. To, I'm going to the Kumite, get a few more scars on my face. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, man. His point is no scars on his face. I know. I, I wrote that down. I was like, what scars? I actually, uh, but I love that character. Uh, that, uh, Ray Jackson. Uh, yeah. He's the best. That's he looks like character. Braun Strowman to me. I always think he had like a Braun look. 
He looks as he looks as much as Braun Strowman as Gabrus looks like Braun Strowman, <laughs> which close. is kind of a lot. Like this <laughs> thing right here. You, you both have yeah. a tattoo of, of uh, where you're from there. But he has Kentucky, I think. Yeah. Uh, you, why don't you star where you're from? Are you uh, ashamed to be a South Shore guy? No, because it's just not big. It's just, my my brother's got the star, and it just looks like a dot. It's too small. Like, oh right, I would have you're, to be, and you're on the water. You're too close. Yeah, to the it's water. like I'm like here, and just like it would look kind of weird. Uh, but I also lived in I lived in two, South Shore, baby. Uh, watching the fucking uh, Rosalind. We should have you should have me on for the fucking Rosalind doc. We should have done the bad <laughs> education episode. Oh, I that. Too. Yeah, well, yeah maybe maybe in like three to four weeks. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> see you never <laughs> i'm never coming back to this shit. <laughs> absolutely not oh uh, you say that every time and uh, i'm always back aren't i <laughs> <laughs> we, we let you space it out you know what i mean thank you i appreciate yeah, absolutely. that we, we don't we don't bother you every day you know what i mean you guys uh, are so good to me that's all, absolutely uh uh and by the way this is just a, a gabrus is in jamie's show uh which is there's not a lot of details on it but he's in it and he's Can't very funny in it uh jamie's <laughs> hysterical of course one, one, yeah, yeah yeah uh uh so anyway uh he has to he has to do the death touch he has to break the brick no one else has to do anything there's no real reason why he has to do this it just it seems very loose to get into the kumite some of the guys could barely fight uh but if i'm gonna do some if i'm gonna do some work for the movie here these guys might know Tanaka and right. think that he's trying to do some fucking stolen valor shit. Right. And they're like, well, if you know Tanaka, then you know Dim Mock. And he's like, I actually, I do. Yeah. And then he does it. <laughs> the Dim Mock is where you have to punch a stack of bricks, but only break the bottom brick, and the other bricks can't be messed up at all, right? Oh, the name for that is Dim Mock? I, I, yeah. I don't know. I yeah. thought Dim Mock was just like a feat of strength or something. That's no. the death touch, uh, which I think is touch. what... Uh, uh, Dukes eventually threatens Chun Li with at the end. Yeah, He's right. get... But yeah, what is yeah. Jack? When, why does Jackson break a brick later? Well, he, he just breaks does it... it on his on his he... head. Yeah, yeah. He's just demonstrating that he's a fucking freak too. Yeah. I, I think at this point in the movie, you have to show Jackson do something sort of badass yeah. because you have no. You do not believe in him in this fight at all. You're right. like, everyone else is like in the jungles of Thailand practicing yeah. kickboxing or like climbing fucking yeah. trees and breaking coconuts on their head. And Jackson's just like punching a heavy bag at a fucking right. uh, uh, 24 hour fitness. <laughs> yeah, I would have. I would have loved to see Jackson some kind of training of Jackson, where like he right. just goes yeah. to a like time to train. He just goes to a bar and beats some yeah. guys up. At yeah, the bar. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, throws, like that. he throws people over a chain link fence at the fucking. Uh, country music venue he works at right <laughs> <laughs> he works at the double deuce from roadhouse 100 yeah. so, uh, <laughs> looks like he does so like the kumite the, he has a uh, victor lin that guy uh who's oh like, the the asian uh, mouth of the south <laughs> yeah yeah the mouth of the south pacific exactly he looks exactly <laughs> uh, uh like he, jimmy hart he's he got real like, jimmy hart vibes in yeah. a good way he need, uh uh he needed just a megaphone but uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy is so worked up the whole movie. Uh, he's he's at a ten, no matter what you say to him. Right. Character. I don't care if you're uh, Tadoshi is Bruce Springsteen. You let him fight. Hey, Jackson. You look like Jackson. He's yeah. got all the funniest crazy shit. So then he's explaining the rules of the Kumite, and he's like, guys, it, like when it starts, he's like, here's the deal. There's three ways you could win. Knockout. You you say quit. He's like, that's like. What's a quit? You say mate, right? It's like like saying uncle. Mate, yeah. Mate, mate. mate sorry. Uh, mate latte. Mate latte. Yeah. And then he's like, you could throw the fucker right off the runway. And I was like, I expected that line to be, or you could kill them. You know? Right. <laughs> right. But he's right. like, or you could just knock them right off the mat. <laughs> like, well, that just... it makes no sense because then you would just have. People whose strategy is like, well, Pushers. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a fucking NFL fullback. Right. I'll win the Kumite. Just, I'm an offense. Uh, 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 we just get a fucking D lineman to hold your jersey and drive you clean up. Uh, <laughs> man, my Wi-Fi right. sucks. Right. My house. Right. I'm gonna keep reading. I uh, well, okay. I, I, uh, I I just <laughs> I ran an Ethernet cord from 
my living room out the window <laughs> through Dan I mean, set I up Ethernet cords because I just couldn't handle the Wi Fi. Yeah. Just a oh, recommendation. Man. But anyway, so like uh, then it started to rain and I didn't get the weatherproof on. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so I might get a li- I might get shocked up. But uh, yeah, because like the one victory I remember from the movie of knocking somebody off the platform is JCVD is fighting uh, uh, like uh, this like African guy um, and he he kicks him once and then he kind of knocks him out and then he gives him one like crane like karate, uh, karate kid style crane kick mm-hmm. and then kind of like perfectly swan kicks like uppercut kick off the platform onto the sand. Like, there's right. never, like, somebody just one foot slips off, like, what you would think would happen in this. Like, somebody loses <laughs> where, the, where they are, <laughs> you know? That'd be so awesome. You're, like, a dude who's flown there from, like, yeah. fucking the New Zealand tribes or whatever. You're, like, a Maori guy. Your first time, <laughs> like, ever travel. You're, like, there. You're, like, training your whole life. You're the biggest warrior from your fucking right. village. And then you, like, slip going in, and you're, like, oh, I'm out. They like, fly home. <laughs> But meanwhile, other people are getting their fucking legs broken. They're like, how was Kumite for you? You're like, I stubbed the toe and lost. It <laughs> is so true. You can have the, the your Kumite experience could be could vary from uh, I fell off the mat to I died. <laughs> so that was my last experience on Earth. Yeah. And it really just depends on how vicious. By the way, so when Chung Lee, who, by the way, I just want to say, I'm a real sucker for like, an Asian bodybuilder type? Because I he's think you big. rarely see an Asian who's juiced up. No? Not he's, like this. Like, I, he's... I he's don't know. one of the biggest musk... I mean, he he's the bad guy in Enter the Dragon. Enter uh, the yes. Dragon, yeah. He also steals Bruce's line here and says, Brick no, uh, Brick no hit back, which is Bruce Springsteen's... Fa- uh, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Lee's... <laughs> <laughs> <Well, he's bad. laughs> Baby, we were brick stone hit back. He's like, you... Thunder Road. <laughs> you, uh, but yeah, no, uh, no, right. He steals. He says Bruce Lee's exact line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the guy is. It's so cool. I. I don't know. I mean, look. I don't know if this gets into racist territory. You tell me. But I'm just I'll saying. Be, if, the right answer right. is. The answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> Well, you tell me. But uh, when Gabers is here, you know, the Long Island comes out, and I could I could swamp it up. But Don't put this saying, on me. This is Gabers' fault. <laughs> it, it, I'm saying it feels like the a- Asian people don't juice as much as other cultures. Don't do steroids as much? As yeah. far? I as think far- that's definitely an American uh, <laughs> tradition, right? right? Yeah, I think you might be right. Most of the time you see uh, an Asian fighter, they have that Bruce Lee look, more just shredded. But right. they never really, they're never really concerned with pumping the shoulders up. Yeah, I think if you, see, I think if you want to eliminate any stereotyping from it, we could say yeah. when we see Asian uh, people in in action movies, yeah. they're either uh, shredded little, uh, littler dudes, little or, people. <laughs> yeah, they're, sh- they're shredded little people. Little people. <laughs> Shredding little people. That's so sad. Gabriel, thank you for walking it back for me, really protecting me. I got you. I'm going to jump on this grenade by accident, whether I mean it or not. Atta boy. Or, or sumo wrestlers are the other archetype you see. Right. right. I think Bolo Young uh, is was not – I think that's why he ended up being so successful too is because he has a very interesting look. He's got like a bodybuilder football player look, and he, but he – Right. He's a fu- and he's a badass. He's a martial artist. His right. body's insane, and uh, truly the biggest pecs I've ever seen. Huge. Oh, huge. Huge. Like, like hairless like and huge. Pecs. Yeah. Like Triple H huge and his prime style pecs. Yeah. Yeah. He's got like Hulk Hogan uh, orange baloney tits. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind, the top kind of tits. All the right. most uh, the best baloney tits you've ever seen. <laughs> Bolo Young. Chocolate, <laughs> big tits. Watch Love them. Many people are saying. Many, 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 pe- many people. people. Many, many people. The people. Many, yeah. People that are coming up to me, tears in their <laughs> eyes, saying, Mr. Trump, thank you for winning Kumite. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he won a Kumite once. The best, uh, the best slash worst part about Trump is you can imagine him at a coronavirus briefing bringing up blood sport like no, oh. there's, no, there's no there's no question he could do that we're waging Dude. a kumite against this virus <laughs> uh, be like, people say they don't want they don't want me to say the chinese virus 
So I'm calling it the Kumite virus. <laughs> yeah. We're going to defeat it in hand-to-hand -hand combat using what I believe is called Dimmock. So very, very many people are talking about Dimmock. Dim <laughs> I think you'd be like this. It's like, we're fighting an invisible enemy. It's invisible. We can't see it. It's like John claude at the end of the Kumite. He's blind. We're punching blind. But we can see. I can see. <laughs> you know? Um, Bloodsport's his favorite movie. And when did Russ say that? Uh, he had it in back when he was uh, campaigning or once he was president. Yeah. Someone said he had, uh, there was an article about him. He had it on tape or DVD or whatever. Tape. tape. Oh, it was tape. It was and it was on the plane. And it had the conversation. It had the talking edited out of it. It was just the fight sequences. I'm very, yeah, like I'm, I'm disturbed by this Just the now. fights from Bloods. Wow. That's I'm just are you surprised though? No. Let me ask no, you something. Not surprised no, though, no, right? no. How, how do you, I felt like one thing about, about this movie that's interesting in terms of edit is uh, like the, they, they only show snippets of matches of all the fights. Right. Um, well, they have for, to because they just, they don't have the ideas. Like it's so, like you have a monkey man fighting someone and you're like, can't even get like, you don't care. They also don't want you to care about any of the other kids. Right. Like, so like everyone kind of has to be like vague. So we just yeah. get to see snippets, but like, let's talk about some of the people we see fighting. Yes. There's, right. there's Savat guy. There's the guy who has like the sort of like palms up stance like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like French kickboxing or Muay Thai. Like that's also yeah, called yeah. Savat. That's the guy, that kind of kind of look like me or no? Yeah, the, the a little bit. Kind of looks like, like Dan. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like Dan. He then did pretty well. This guy went pretty far in the tournament to my yeah. credit. As a guy, yeah, okay. There's a there's uh the jacked uh, black dude who's not the uh, monkey style. There's just kind of like the buff. I think that's the guy JCVD kicks out of the ring. Yes, that yeah. guy dies pretty fit. <laughs> dies. He loses. Yeah. Pretty fast. <laughs> he dies. Yeah, but yeah, sticking with the video him. game he mentality. Of, like, ooh, he's got like an Eddie Gordo vibe. Uh, right. Yes. Like, yes. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. There's uh the kind of Middle Eastern dudes who oh, do yeah. Middle Eastern martial arts. Oh, you mean Hussein? The guy who's yeah. trying to uh, the one who essentially costs, rape the reporter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah who, uh, who gets his, like, uh, lima bean stolen from his hand by Frank yeah. Dukes. Right. A, yeah, he, well, he has a, I think he has a quarter in his hand, right? Or is yeah. it a bean? And or he, a like, quarter, replaces it. he swaps it. it with a different currency, I believe. <laughs> yeah, something Which like that. It's also a weird choice because when you're watching it, you're like, oh, was it just in your brain? You're like, oh, was that a different currency than I remember? It's not like it was a duck and then he puts a dog in there. Right. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Were you... Were you so pumped when uh, Duke beats Jackson in the the Taekwondo video game? Are you like, that's the hero of the movie. Right. See, he's very good at this yeah. arcade game. Like, they literally go, he's like, well, you're pretty good at this, as if that's foreshadowing that he's going to do know. in the Kumite. <laughs> that, that bonded them. That Like, they, they, they had a little bit of beef, and then he beat him in the game, and he was like, yo, we're best friends. And nothing yeah. to do with the fact that... We're two uh, uh, Americans. John claude Van Damme, very American in this movie. So um, I am number one American man. <laughs> uh, what, what, what? 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 I think that's pretty much like all the fighters in it. But there's also there's also one guy, like white guy, a very long armed, like boxing. He looks like a heavyweight boxer style guy. Yes, yes, like yes. Long, long armed, like like a like a. Has, he looks like he's got like a long jab. He has kind of like a, a Tyson Fury style arms, but mm. yes, yeah, way yes, better. Yes. Um, so there's that, there's that guy, but there's not a lot of shots of the fight. Whereas, like, I feel like other movies, even like a Gladiator movie, like the movie Gladiator, it's like uh, each each Gladiator moment's like a big segment. You're like, there's the middle fight, there's the end one, there's like three big ones a lot of times. This right. one's just like a lot of pepper, pepper, pepper. Uh, I prefer. Oh wait. There's also this sort of big Asian dude that isn't Bolo Young. I, I'm looking up some pictures from the guys. Yeah. I know. Uh, What's do you know? Uh, he's the dude who breaks. He drops someone on his over his knee. He drops the guy in like the blue silk uh, gi, the white dude with the blonde hair yes. and the blue yes. silk yes. gi. Yeah, 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 he drops yeah. him over his knee. Uh, there's the dude that uh, fucking uh, the black dude that Bolo Young annihilates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we know. There's uh, the dude with the blue teal pants and the yellow. Yeah, the guy, Tyson Fury guy, uh, he's got he's the black trunks with the red sash. And there's the Asian bear hug guy. There's the Asian bear hug guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there's, he's, like, uh, he's like 50. But there's, he like, still <laughs> yeah. there's, like there's like 12 guys who have like black pants and red sashes right. that kind of just, or 
black pants with yellow sashes, and they just get worked fast. Right. right. Um, yeah, there's the big guy. His name is Pamola. Right. The big, who's the sumo guy. He's That's the guy the who... first time that JC, that Van Damme takes, like, almost any punishment. I mean, he has no marks on him at all until yeah. the finish. Right. You know? The guy that looks like Dan, his name is uh, Paco. Yeah, Paco. Paco. <laughs> the guy. Paco. <laughs> Yeah, what's the style like? What what's the whole wrist out thing? It, it feels uncomfortable. Feels what's like the benefit of that. Cat like. I, th- I think it's for uh, I think Walking. it's for different kickboxing because it's for boxing uh, for, like Muay Thai is eight eight strikes too because you want right. your el- your elbows are weapons too. So up there like that, I think that's just like a style. I believe Paco is doing savat, which is right. like a French kickboxing style. Mm-hmm. Oh, but he's Muay Thai oriented apparently, not savat. Mm. Right. According to this, a random article that ranks uh, thirty blood sport fighters from oh, nameless to coolest. I have, I have that. <laughs> okay. I was like trying to find anything. Um. So, but the fights that actually get focus in this, like one of them is when Jackson fights Chong Lee. That's one of the big fights. Oh in the movie, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. And I, in this movie, Jackson's wearing a. He's in this fight. He's wearing a Harley Davidson uh, headband. And obviously, because he's, he's American. Yeah, of course. Uh, Biker he, dude. Yeah, and he has a fucking hamburger in his pants. Uh, but, like, <laughs> he literally is – he literally beats the shit out of Chong Li to start it. And then yeah. the only reason he gets beat is because he decides to do, like, a 15-minute taunt and decide he won when he they, they didn't call it. Mm, his own hubris. Yeah. Uh, which I thought was an interesting choice. Then he gets stomped out. I well, he thought, lost like, – Jackson loses the way that – Fucking people like heels lose in wrestling. He's right, got to like show right. off. The ref gets knocked right. out. Like he's got to like, and he, he's selling, right? He's right. fucking k- full kayfabe. He's like, I'm winning. I am a real American. And then gets taken down. And fucking yeah. right. he could win if he just, if he could focus up. But right. uh, they, I, I, my whole thing is they make Jackson. He's so, he's stuck. Like, he's so good at this tournament, actually. You think about his big demise in this is he could break bricks, no problem. He, the guy, that guy doesn't work out at all. That guy, right? I mean, he is not, <laughs> no, no, he, he's Just got tough no, guy stuff. He's right. got noodle arms. Yeah, he he is like the guy Tank Abbott who fought like the first UFC. He was yeah. like, I'm a bouncer, and he just like it was like fat yeah. guy with like fucking gloves and like jorts on. And he just fucking <laughs> got worked. Yeah, Tank Abbott. But I mean, that's when UFC that was very fun. But anyway, so then like he he beats him down. Now I want to just cut to uh, something outside of the Kumite quick that I want to bring up to you guys. Do you Love remember it. the outfit that JCVD wears when he's his first walk with Janice, the reporter? When they're like walking around on the, town, on the, on yeah, on the, on the water waterfront. Front. Yeah, I don't He's recall the outfit. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. He's dump. wearing like a blousey, almost like a silk. Wow, huge that's puffy standard. Shirt, you know, yeah. like uh, standard <laughs> issue for JC. Yeah, he, he, it's got like the. Also, like he's got the weirdest shirts in all of his movies, and right. in this, he's got like his like gi is like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's wearing the shirt, but the thing I noticed in a, this look, I'm, I'm curious if this look will ever come back because it's the big billowing shirt, so much fabric. So Are you much, hoping it comes back? So uh, yes, you can, okay. uh, yes. Double fabric than the man, I would say, right? Like it, than, than the body. Yeah. It's yeah, uh, yeah. so much more fabric than body tucked into a really little waist but then the pants are also a shit yeah. ton of fabric because they're pleated they're like pleated chinos yes. yeah so it gives you that kind of poofy fupa area yeah, it gives you the diaper look like you yeah. have a diaper on underneath and then also so it's tucked in but has so much fabric so it's almost like he's carrying like a bunch of water you know like, <laughs> <laughs> like in the shirt uh i i I feel like we're not that far along from this coming back. <laughs> oh, I mean, anything the is ni- possible. The nineties are coming back. It's only a matter of time before like the terrible nineties, this uh, fashion shit comes back. The late eighties creeps in. Yeah. <laughs> Billowy shirts for men. I'm sure that there are guys in LA who are wearing uh, garb like that. I guarantee there's people in LA who dress like every weird fashion choice you've ever made in your life. There's somebody in LA who's like, that's part of their style. There's someone here in LA who's wearing knee length, like <laughs> Tasmanian devil t-shirts or some shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people in LA look terrible. It's, it's hard to even look at. Sometimes. Well, we I look great. Go, oh, no, except for us, except for except us. Except for us. Chun-Li, Chun-Li. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Uh, so he sleep. I so. I, oh yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, you do. You could. Do, that's his whole move. And yeah, Chops, yeah, yeah, way, yeah. He does like one and then the other. He's so pissed off because uh, JCVD broke. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see. <laughs> this is going on YouTube, you guys. We're gonna have to give <laughs> us a TV MA rating. Can you have like the two girls gone wild sensors come up when I lift my shirt? Like yeah, we, can, uh, we those... can make that happen. I also, I, I'll get my steel drum. <laughs> yeah, uh... you're right. One eight hundred number at the bottom. Uh, but. Uh, he, so he sleeps with this. Uh, I just want to talk about this relationship with this okay. reporter because he sleeps with her. She's like trying to figure out where the kumite is. He sleeps with her. She's like, "I won't tell me where the kumite is." He sleeps with her, and then right when they're done boning, he says, "I can't tell you where the kumite is." About the kumite, <laughs> I yeah. can't do yeah, it. Like, uh, but we so, get a great booty shot. Yes, we get Van yeah. Damme's butt is awesome. His, his buns. His, his butt looks – I mean, he looks great in this movie. What I read is that they said Frank Duke said he didn't look good enough and made him <laughs> diet more for the movie and really? trained with him. But uh, JCVD, they do, they do a shot of him where he's, like, putting on his underwear at post-coital. And clearly they leave a little bit of the, like, before they say – I wouldn't be surprised if they cut out just the audio of them going to say, uh, action. Like, they yeah. leave – you right. see him, like, waiting for somebody, like, when can I pull these up? Right. <laughs> And uh, it's just the most unnecessary hot shot. It's weird. The shot is like it starts and he's like wiping cum off his dick with baby wipes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, like uh, action, John. John. <laughs> does this do? Does this happen anymore? Though, like, where you have like a movie where uh, someone's skill is just something other than acting. I mean, it happens. I know, like for you have someone who's like a music. But do we have any like? fighters who get movies anymore like someone's like they're they're not actors at John all but Cena? They, i guess the, but they they're wrestlers, but wrestlers so it's kind are, of acting it right? is acting so Do you're we get saying like martial like, arts stars anymore or we get like he's just body a bodybuilder no you know why because every actor is like a fucking you have to be a part-time bodybuilder like right it doesn't and that's what it's worth it used to be like Arnold looks great, and it's like, well, now if you want to be in a blockbuster, you have to have a six pack. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, it and goes like, like Ryan the Reynolds is like order. hilarious, but like he is it, like it's like, well, I know Aaron hates Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> but Ryan Reynolds is funny, but like also is Max Jack, <laughs> right? But also he's not that funny. <laughs> like he, <laughs> my he's, man, he's funny for like a jacked actor, just like John Hamm is funny for an act. Ryan Gosling is funny. I would not want to be across from these guys and just fucking laugh. Nope, no shit right. against these guys. But get the fuck out of the way. You get to be a, the fucking hot guy in a movie. Let the right. fucking freaks, ugly weirdos, be the funny guys for fuck's yeah. sake. It's like I, the only way you could be even co co comedy people now. Like any, if you star in a movie, if you're a stand-up comedian, you have to have like a shirtless, sexy photo somewhere on your Instagram. Right. Well, now that's why like Gabriel's Instagram looks the way it does. Yeah, that's why my Instagram's all Throwback Thursdays. Well, the funny thing is that Kamel, people were I hear people oh, yeah. like, oh, it's crazy he's getting so jacked, but it's funny because Kamel, I always see in the gym, he's been jacked for a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kamel, Kamel has been in like decent shape for a long, long yeah. time. Yeah, I remember specifically seeing Kamel in the gym the first time and being like, oh, fuck, he benches more than me. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, that's like deep early Silicon Valley nerd style, and I'm like, he's benching more than me. This is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's playing a dork on television. You call yourself a meathead, and then he's out benching you uh, the first right. time. You see, you're like, all right, well, uh, time yeah. to get on the fucking back on a cycle of D balls. Well, and then middle was telling us he was like, yeah, they gotta like cover him up. He's too jacked. On, oh on yeah, the set. yeah, you said uh, that. But uh, good for him though. Being jacked is cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hashtag, hashtag jacked. Uh, we'll try. We'll try that one on for size. See if yeah. gets we've any. been trying that one on and over at Cow Podcast. No, I know. Oh, oh I'm well aware. <laughs> uh, would you say it hasn't gotten any jackson? I would say. Oh. I, I, I would say oh. that's a hundred percent factual. But I. Uh, all right, but I mean, let's. We can just jump to the end of this movie. Uh, Thank God. Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll let you go. Don't worry. All right, Gabers, thanks for stopping by. No, but We're kicking might... you off this call. Oh, look at that. A little, the light coming in. What do you have, a people? Wow. Is that where you live? Yeah. That's my glory hole. Glory I hole. I put my little dick outside the window and just. That's a tiny glory hole. Yeah, well, that's all I need. And then my neighbors come by and drink from it like a, uh, a little hamster. 
Uh, or or like neighborhood hamsters and rats and squirrels come by and nibble on it. Yeah, I put a little peanut butter on the tip. Uh, just the tip for peanut butter. Anyway, listen, here's the deal. End of this movie. <laughs> Basically, John Blank, John Claude Van Damme gets to fight Chong Li. It's a very pre- the whole movie's very predictable. Uh, the only thing you can't predict is the what's going to happen with the Forest Whitaker because you don't know what's happening with that or at why. all or uh, care. Those guys have stun guns that are the equivalent of like when cell phones first came out. <laughs> they yeah, have yeah, like yeah. these cell, these stun guns are like like huge. They're, they're like oh yeah, it's like Zach Morris stun guns. Yeah, they're Zach Morris stun guns. But they they fight at the end of the movie. And uh, Chung Lee versus JCVD seems to be his, you know, his best uh, uh, battle. He goes blind. What kind of makes him blind there? He just kind of gets get knocked and goes blind, or is there dust? He gives – Chung Lee has, like, a dust that I think someone passes him on the sly off to oh. the side, and okay. he quickly, like, blows it in his this, eyes. I didn't see him get it. So then I was like – He either I, had I, it on him or I think, like, a, a crony might have handed it to him. Might have right. been in his pocket. Uh, Van Damme, I actually thought, so here's the, so Van Damme is blind, but then you flash back to him. Flashback. He's, he's trained how to fight blind. I would say he's more successful fighting blind than with eyes, right? Well, it makes no <laughs> sense. Cause it's like, well, why didn't you just close your eyes at minute one of right. this fight? Right. <laughs> once he's blind, like none of that Chung Lee is so scared of Van Damme when he's blind. Like yeah. <laughs> he goes yeah. on a major offensive. He's he's killer blind, which is you know it's very Star Wars. Uh, you know, <laughs> going blind is a is a is a. Very you lose blind. all the distract. You lose all the distractions. Yeah, I'm one oh, of the force. Go. There we go. Get that nipple tan, but son. I loved Van Damme's. Like you know when you see something in a movie, I loved Van Damme's acting when he was <laughs> that. I loved all that. I thought that was I, all this, yeah. great. When he's just like this, really good. I loved all that. I paused the movie at one point while he was making that face, and I, I was like, oh, this is such a beautiful, like, beautiful it's moment. Yeah. His arms are fucking, like, he's like, when he, like, does his blocks, his arms are so fucking shredded. Yeah. It rules. He looks like a million bucks, and it's, like, unfair that this guy, he, Van Damme in this movie is a fucking specimen. I mean, it is unfair that some people should be allowed to not age. You know what I mean? It should yeah. be right. Some people should get a pass where it's like, come on, this is like, it's like the destruction of a, a, a beautiful statue. We should not find a way to, uh, to you know, a couple of people should be vampires. But anyway, the movie. You're is- saying like, you're saying at like 35, the second Van Damme demonstrates any oh, aging, someone should come kill him. Well, yes. we're off the face of the earth. So no one sees an age. Got it. Yeah. We're going to see how well he ages next week in the Cow Movie Club with Kickboxer Vengeance. Yeah, John Gabriel will be coming back. Uh... He'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, Gabriel? <laughs> you have to watch. Uh, this is a binding Vengeance. contract. <laughs> this is technically a, a legally binding Zoom. Thank but, you. Uh, see you there. Uh, well, I t- John, every time I start about Dolph Lundgren. No. Um, I'm, oh, I hyped it up too much already, but am I just saying? Did I ever tell you? <laughs> did I ever tell you that? The weirdest experience I had. Oh, what, I I just like got to L.A. and I was just at a stoplight, and uh, I just it's like very early in the morning. I had to be up really early. It was like seven eight in the morning. I look. I, I get to a stoplight. Just look to my left. Then I look to my right. There's a cafe, and there's only one guy outside sipping an espresso, reading a book, and it's fucking Dolph Lundgren. Wow. Yes, dude. Yeah. Like, and you're like, wow. Fucking LA is win. so fucking crazy. <laughs> How did he do? You look good. I'm going to like it here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait till you see the pool. It was like, uh, sh- sh- it's gay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to like house sitting. Uh, I flipped my glasses up uh, and I was gay. Uh, but uh, all right. It was. Great movie. It's a great movie. Couple of fun facts I just got to say. Oh, yeah. I say, is that JCVD, by the way, was nominated for a Razzie for this movie. Uh, oh, bullshit. Did you know that? For new, bet, uh, uh, bet, uh, worst new performer. Wow, oh, man. That's crazy. You, that you seems think, crazy. Especially, like, as growing up as, like, 90s kids, this is, like, you win an MTV award for this, right? Right, right. Yeah, I I don't, I thought the whole world was on the same page that Van Damme wasn't trying to act. He was trying to do karate on screen. Like, yeah. that's a difference. Yeah. Like, we weren't going to Chuck. 
Even Arnold who and Sly, who are even more charismatic, we weren't going to them because they're good actors. We're going to them because they look so insane. Right. We yeah, it's to. not like they're like turning in like, oh, I want to see like a Meryl Streep level <laughs> performance right. out of these like jack dudes who can kick ass. Like, <laughs> no. Right. Uh, here's another fun. Yeah, right. Here's another. Fun, I, 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 that shocked me. I was like, that's crazy. That's another fun fact. Uh, Hussein, the actor who, Hussein, who's, whose real name is Mariano. Uh, of course. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> doing a little, uh, uh, doing a little Middle Eastern face for yeah. us. Uh, he was actually knocked unconscious by Van Damme, uh, with an elbow to the face. And that scene's in the movie. Oh, uh, I love that kind of stuff. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's cool. Um, and like we already just, we already uh, we already covered this, but Frank Dukes never has and does not hold any of the world records listed at the end of the film. Of course not. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, I learned a little about Frank Dukes researching him online, and uh, our listener Sal Alazio indicated this on Facebook that there's a uh, I think it's called Dukes Ninjutsu. Um, yeah. Or Duke's Ryu is like a brand of martial arts that he's responsible for. And if we wanted, I believe that the three of us could go to Silver Crane Dojo in North Hollywood and train in Duke's Ryu ninjutsu, ninjutsu to this day. With Frank or no? I don't think it's with Frank, but it is the headquarters. So if he decides wow. to like roll out of bed, um, North Hollywood is where it's at. So well, yeah. it, we could all go do that. Um, <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I would do that. <laughs> that yeah, I, awesome. I actually, I actually thought about Dan during the training montage because you know you're working on getting jacked. Like, yeah, did you get always. any ideas like about getting drawn and quartered, maybe in the tree in your yard? And I mean, yeah, that was crazy. So his part of his training is he gets like bondaged up, right? Yeah, uh, he gets like. His, his limbs tied to two trees, fully yeah. spread, and then he rises up and actually pulls down a tree with his own strength. It's <laughs> awesome. It's yeah. so good. So, Dan, I thought maybe you got some ideas on training uh, during quarantine from the film. I'm probably going to keep just doing goblet squats, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing a shit ton of goblet squats uh, because I don't have a barbell yeah. currently. Neither does Dan. No, I don't. I've been doing a lot of step class on my porch. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, and I wear, but I wear a weight vest. So I wear 20 pounds of vest and I do it. But uh, my gym is uh, doing, they, they still have classes, like virtual classes. So they're, I'm doing like a Murph and stuff, but I've already put on like five or six pounds just from eating a shit ton of chips. I mean, my eating is terrible. <laughs> chips. <I do> <laughs> uh, my eating's horrible in the quarantine. Uh, oh, I'm, I, yeah, my eating and drug consumption is through the roof. Yeah, you look a little strung out, Gabriel. <laughs> so. um, last fun fact Thanks. about this movie, and then Gabriel, we'll let you off the hook here because I think we had a fun discussion about blood. No. Yeah, we had a blast, Dan. This was a highlight of my life. The flashback in the movie, it runs, this is an actual, it runs 10 minutes and 56 seconds, and it's the world's longest flashback event in a film. Whoa. <laughs> oh, right, because, yeah, it's, it, yeah. the movie's just, like, shot out of order, more or less. Yes, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> he's already, right, they just, out of, it's kind of, they do, like, a weird, like, a cheap-ass wipe, uh, 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 fade effect, and then it goes to his whole childhood, and it, Go, it's really long um so that's the only actual world record for this movie none of the, <laughs> oh, <interesting. laughs> none of the other stuff uh but not yeah. the fastest kick which is something that's like nearly immeasurable <laughs> right <laughs> yeah, what do you have to have a, a gun oh one not, seconds yeah right. like it's not like throwing a a fastball right? <laughs> right, right. um and 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 this is uh we'll, we'll play this in the episode but this is the blood sport theme song and it's you gotta check it out. It, it makes the movie, and to be honest, we need more songs like this in movies. They, they gotta make fun songs for movies like this again. I miss this shit. Yeah. Also, this is such a rip off of uh, you got the uh, you got the touch. Stan Bush ripping himself off. <laughs> so, uh, Stan Bush is known as the one trick pony. Kumite, Kumite. Wow, this is listed as the extended studio John version. Lee, Very John rare. Lee, John Lee, John Lee. Oh, 
Oh. Is that a, a, a big martial arts thing? Is you whip the neck like in pocket into place. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Anyway. Anyway, Aaron. Really if you start a TikTok where you sing a uh, blood sport soundtrack like that, I, you will have at least one. I'll sign up, learn how TikTok works and follow you. Are yeah. You uh, okay. Great. <laughs> worth it, worth is, there ca is there cash in that? Cause if so, I, I'm, on, I, I'm on it. I have no idea. All right. <laughs> what makes TikTok different than like Instagram? I oh, don't, this is not a question. We for have her. talked about it. We, I truly do not understand. This is like the first thing that's made me feel truly old is like, yeah. I don't know tic, what TikTok does. Yeah. Does TikTok mean that like the TikTok of like my life is ticking away? Like, I think, oh, yeah. of, the, I think of the Kesha, the Kesha song. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I think and, it's pretty much saying like, this is it, pal. <laughs> TikTok, yeah. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. You're, everything you're doing is nothing. Here it is. TikTok. And everyone wants you to just dance. Anyway, all right, I, I, great. We're all, all right, signing everybody. up. Bloodsport, we talked about it. We love it. No reason to not watch this movie on quarantine. As a matter of fact, I would list this as summer quarantine reading and watching yep. uh, for the pod. I expect when we get back, you guys will watch this. I'm going to change my moo rating of this movie up to five. Because, you, know what? Uh... you know what? You know what? I would love to move Bloodsport into the realm of five star uh, cow films. So I too will move my rating all right so four Gators. to five stars okay so gotta do the that on there Shock the system. and then i need to add a half move Shock great and lock it in uh, wow 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 bye booze uh it does you know it gets an asterisk for not having a wrestler in it oh wow the lights there but blood sport uh this movie fucking rocks it rocks Gabriel. Since you're an action boy, if you, people like Bloodsport, <laughs> what are the next movies you recommend they go to after this? Well, okay, this is where it gets tough because I would go best of the best. If you like Bloodsport, jump to best of the best, despite it featuring Eric Roberts and not an, and uh, Chris Penn, not a lot of, and James Earl Jones as a yeah. karate coach. Pop it, Tommy. Uh, pop it, Tommy. <laughs> um, I, I would also recommend, and it's not, it's so much worse compared to this movie, but The Quest is Van oh, Damme trying to make blood sport again. <laughs> like, I've never seen the quest. Like eight years later, but with James Remar, it's not nearly as good as this movie, but that's what kind of makes it fun. Mm -hmm. It also features Van Damme dressed as a mime to begin the movie. Oh, no. I, I like, know that that's in there. I've never seen it. I, I, like, know the cover of the video box, though, from, like, Blockbuster. Because he's got the rope, ba the rope head band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you've seen this, but not Kickboxer, which is another great, it's got a great training montage, great Van Damme shit. Highly recommend that one. And that's the movie that features the gif of Van Damme dancing that everyone loves right, to use. Right, right. Yeah. And peak, he's got a fucking black tank top, cami cut with, clip, <laughs> with like suspender clips here. It makes no sense, but peak weird shirt Van Damme. Yeah. Uh, I got, I'm going to walk, well, I'm watching Kickboxer for next week, but, uh, Kickboxer Vengeance. Kickboxer Vengeance. Yeah. 2016. Get it so, right, bitch. Yeah. I'm going to start, I'm going to start there, which is definitely the way you're supposed to do right. it. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. you definitely start. A lot of people say you start a Kickboxer Vengeance, you work your way back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a, that's a popular way to do it. Anyway, Gabrus, thank you for popping Yay, by and thanks, doing the podcast. Gabriel. Thank awesome you guys you. for having me. This was uh, a wonderful time. This is how I wanted to spend my Friday. Absolutely. And we'll see you here for Kickboxer Vengeance. We'll Vengeance. see you next week. We'll see you next Friday. I might Vengeance. actually watch King Bo Kickboxer Vengeance just because you brought it up. Okay. But I have no desire to talk. I'll, I'll message you guys about it. But I am not coming back on this fucking podcast until – we start covering Goldberg's movies. <laughs> it's Santa only a matter Slay. of time. What? Uh, we'll, we'll, get, uh, we'll have you back in December. Uh, Santa Slay, uh, quarantine, in, in, when the quarantine continues in December. <laughs> read that they're saying it might be two years uh, today. <laughs> or Universal Soldier of the Return. He's in Universal Soldier of the Return. Yeah, I think that's his first one. He has, like, he has that – or. He, yeah, the Universal. I think his first movie was the Universal. So I remember that when he was in WCW, he was yeah. doing uh, uh, that movie. But uh, Goldberg is quite the stiff. But anyway, everybody, John <laughs> yeah. Gabrus, he's here. Check out if you listen to us, you'll probably love Action Boys. Action Boys uh, rules. Thank right you. Stadium. I love Action Boys. Dave. 
St I'm going to have Stanger uh, on at some point. Ben yeah. Rogers. The, these are three of the funniest guys talking about action movies and whatever. Make sure to listen to those guys. Also, check Thanks, out Hi and Miney. Thank uh, you. John Gabrus's, uh solo podcast uh, comes out what day? Thursdays, baby. Every Thursday. You can hear me on there. There's an episode of me on there or two. Um, <laughs> I, I think you've been on multiple, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who, who can know at this point? I'm in a... a Aaron, you haven't point. been on yet. No. Yeah, yeah, not yet. You could have the co-hosts of Comedians of Wrestling. <laughs> I love it's got to be better than talking to Dan again. Yeah. I love that. I, <laughs> I, I got more to say. You, I, I mean, would be I, honest. We know. We know. You'd be surprised. And uh, I do have the power to mute you for the, your bad attitude uh, <laughs> <laughs> right at the end here. But, uh, yeah, everyone, check out uh, Bloodsport. By the way, this comes out Monday. Next week, we're watching Kickboxer uh, Vengeance, which, Aaron, where is that again? That's available on Netflix streaming. Great. All right. Hey, everybody. Great. Uh, keep Great. watching wrestling. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> Enjoy your quarantine. Kiss your loved ones and stay inside or leave. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> no, just or kidding. leave. Stay inside. Stay inside. Stay inside. Stay inside. Stay inside. Get loose with it. Get loose with it. You can tell we're eight weeks in. Fight uh, to survive. All right. Fight everybody. to survive. <laughs> Did you say dog penis for your name this whole time? <laughs> and I just switched it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Keep watching Wrestling Kisses. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.